friends, running Kimono here. So we have a midweek haul. We have some Walgreens Magic, some Rite Aid, and Dollar General Penny items we're going to touch on in this video. First piece of business, if you can go to your digital coupons folder and check at the very top if you might have this booster, load it right away. I have a seven back when you spend 35 for next week, and this is going to be fantastic. They have a really great tie deal too over at Walgreens, load it. Okay, so the first deal we're going to talk about is this, the Scott buy one, get one 50% off. And for this deal specifically, we're going to grab two of the toilet papers priced at five buckos, and it is the Comfort Plus one. I love this toilet paper. I know that some people are like, I hate it, but I think it's a great toilet paper. We have currently this digital coupon that is attaching, which is a $2 off. Make sure it's attaching before you do the deal. And also open up your ShopMium account and load this guy. We have a matching digital coupon. As you're only using one digital coupon, you can apply for the second one. Grabbing two of these in store, it's $7.50 on a buy one, get one 50% off. Subtracting your first digital coupon, you'll pay $5.50. Photograph your receipt to the Shop Me map for another $2 back. It makes it $3.50 for the two or $1.75 per 12 pack of toilet paper. This is extreme couponing, and even if this toilet paper isn't your jam, it's always smart to have a couple extra, you know, 12 packs in your stockpile. I would definitely do this deal. It is fantastic. Okay, so Aunt Rach is also suggesting that you grab a couple of these at $2.79 for three of these freezer bags. I mean, so you're getting a box of freezer bags for 93 cents each. That's a stock up price. There's no other store that sells these this cheap. Load up this week, especially if you know you like to store your food in these, freeze them, whatever. It's a great price point. Yesterday, I made a video of a lot of 90% off beverages, candies, you name it over at Walgreens. You have to do this in store. In case you missed this video, as I published it a little later, Go and watch it. I'll leave it at the end. I mean, it's a lot of stuff at 90%. It is the time to get to Walgreens and dance through those aisles. Always clearances, your mileage may vary, but fantastic. One item I did see at many stores was this, the Maybelline Foundation. This deal is weird because it specifically is best to do it as a curbside offer because we have another coupon code to use with the Maybelline and it's working with the clearance one as well at 429 so very easily, guys, um, you're going to need uh, this coupon loaded, which is the five off of two. And then the coupon code, you just type it in at checkout. And I'm going to show you that. So grabbing two of these, it's $8.59. One of these foundations is just under 17 Some tremendous savings, guys, like tremendous, tremendous savings. So have your five off two digital coupon loaded. It's coming off. And then use the code save four for another 358 off. It makes it completely free. Now for curbside pickup, you need a minimum of 10 bucks. So maybe if you wanted to throw in the Scott, um, a couple other little odds and ends, like make it happen. But if you really need foundation, um, do this deal as a curbside because it's fantastic. You're $10 short from your order, but make it happen um, because it's free foundation and that's great. Okay, so the next store that we're going to is the Dollar General, and um, this penny list with the frozen food is a bit tricky because it's only certain stores on certain weeks, and the penny list is happening on a Monday, not the usual Tuesday, and it's very selected food items. So I just wanted to show you the list that I, or the items that I found specifically at this one store, and yes, I did go on first thing on a Monday because I wanted some of this frozen food. Um, you want to open up your Dollar General app to your location and then see if it's ringing up 0.00. .00. At the register, it's going to ring up full price, but when the cashier hits the pay button, it's a penny. So it's a bit of a leap of faither. Um, Jimmy Dean Egg Bites, these are delicious. And even though they expired, I think, in the end of April, my boxes, they're still good. They were frozen. I could put them in my deep freeze and they're still quite fantastic. Now, a lot of you will probably say, I don't believe that you're getting us all for a penny. And here's the receipt. And if you look at some of these, uh, how they're ringing up, how it's like, you know, 225 and then below it a penny. That's why at the register, it's ringing up full price. It's a really weird one, but it is the way that it is. And then I'm just going to show you the rest of the items that I found. We have the Red Baron pizza melt and the Hungry Man uh, double meat bowls. It's like some sort of... um meatloaf of some sort. My husband's already plowed through half of this frozen food and he can't help himself. He's just like, I want it all. Uh, this is his favorite penny list. He told me anything to do with like good food. And I was like, okay, I'll get right on that every week. 
like I have control of that. But I, I, t I told him that. So anyone else deal with that sort of stuff? <laughs> we have this uh, Nashville uh, style chicken pub sandwich and the mac and cheese he ate. I found three of those boxes of the mac and cheese and it's a larger portion. He's already eaten two of them and he's wondering where more is located so i should just send him to one of the dollar generals with a really angry manager and say could you ask for the penny food items and see what happens probably wouldn't end very well but yeah to get all this stuff for like 23 cents and i had pretty much a cart full and i have a lot of quick breakfasts for me that's what i wanted were those egg bites i'm very very grateful and it's definitely worth even the fact that it's later in the week you never know because this wasn't issued as a penny list a lot of employees at stores are not pulling these items off the floor I also found one lonely blue dot, which is this cloud pen. Um, I did find one a couple Tuesdays ago when the penny list happened. And for whatever reason, guys, uh, the price tag was removed from the item. So I couldn't buy it at the other store, but I bought it at this store and I wanted one of those cloud pens. I thought it was adorable. Me and stationery is a bad combination. I love anything with stationery. I know that Christie's Connections also put out a list for home decor. Check out her channel. Um, I didn't even touch that home decor list. I don't have room in my house to store a bunch of like, you know, signs and like little frames and cutesy things. I wish I did, but I'm passing on that list because it's, it's becoming overwhelming here. So, um, Good luck to all of you. And if you're just like, what is the list? Go and visit Christie's Connections YouTube channel. She has a whole video on it from yesterday. The last store that we have is Rite Aid. And I'm just going to go through my transaction really quickly. It is 10 back when you spend 50. Now I'm going to let you guys know that uh, we usually get like website, this, social media. Only this one was working. So just be cautious of that. I just did one transaction. This one I got two of the Dove Baby. It's to spend 20, get back 10. Alivert was on clearance. And then four of the Arm & Hammer toothpaste. Buy two, get five bucks back in bonus cash. I'm going to show you the tags and all that jazz. And I'm just going to say that I have been holding on to my bonus cash for about three weeks. I haven't done a transaction. All of it was expiring on the 31st. So I just had to make a deal happen. This isn't the best deal, but man, it's been really, really bad deals at Rite Aid uh, the last while. $1.50 back for each of these tubes on Ibotta. I hope it resets because I did this deal on both of my store cards. It's just been slow moving at Rite Aid and just, meh. And this is the spend 20, get back 10. So I got a, an expensive uh, Dove Baby and then a cheaper one at $8.99 for like $20.97. Pairing it with the toothpaste and a little item at seven bucks on clearance. I'm going to show you my receipt. I am just ready to use all of my bonus cash and just wait um, on Rite Aid because the fact that they don't have any P&G offers for about two months, it's hurting, man. I really want my tide back, but something's going on over there. So um, I got back altogether $32 in bonus cash, an extra $2 as I hit that thousand point threshold. So counting that, my Alivert, I had one digital coupon for that and I had no other coupons for any of the other items I got. So the total was like $51. I used 46 bucks in my bonus cash. And then I got 30 back, 32 actually, and then $6 back from Ibotta. So this whole haul was about eight bucks. I mean, I'm not thrilled with it, but it was the only way I could roll it into something else for next week. And I looked at the flyer for next week and it's just as sad, there are no deals. So the next time I see the tide at $12.99, I might just plow through all of my bonus cash that week and then maybe take the summer off of Rite Aid because it seems like um, it's just another nail in the coffin with a lot of these stores with couponing and the manufacturers they seem to be pulling things like death by a thousand cuts almost and I know a lot of Rite Aid shoppers are just as frustrated as me but um, oh my gosh so that's it for this video guys we'll catch you in the next one bye